Hello, you can run around. We're passing some dogs. Hey, girl. <coughs> oh. I just let her off leash, so she's like, is it true? Am I really off leash? And there's a squirrel over there. She hasn't seen it yet. Hi. Um, but she's really good. We were, when we first got here, there's, can't really tell, probably in the shop, but there's like three dogs over there that ran up to us off leash and she stayed with me. I just pushed them away. Um, Freckle, good girl. She has her e-collar on. It's in my pocket if I need it. Um, see how much I can get through to her with just verbal cues. Um, but the e-collar is there as backup if I need it. I just kind of want to let her go off and explore. Um, I don't mind if she walks with me, of course. I'm just going to give her a little bit of a wheelhouse. Probably like 20 feet. Every time she gets to that point, I'll call her back to me, give her a treat, and then say okay and let her go back to doing the fun stuff. I just want to lessen that conflict of her returning to me. Um, where it doesn't always mean that the fun is taken away. So let's her here. Freckle, come. Yes. She gets a snack -o. Okay. And then she gets to go back to exploring. So what I want to do is just kind of create that reliability where she's getting something out of coming to me. It kind of reinforces her checking in with me and um, just keeping in mind that I exist. So she's going to wait again. Freckle. Yes. Good job. I don't want to obsess over her. Okay. I want to let her go have fun and explore. I just kind of want to um, really keep an eye on that wheelhouse of where she's allowed to move away. And so every time she gets to the point, I'll just call her back, give her a treat, and let her go try again. Um, I suspect that really the only time I probably will need the collar is if she starts, <coughs> like, sniffing something and she gets really invested. Um, not a huge deal, but I do want to kind of enforce that she listens when I ask her to come to me. I'm going to move away this way. Freckle, come on, good girl! We're just changing course. Courses, courses. Of course. I'm out of shape, I'm out of breath. Hi, Freckle Teeny. All right, let's do Frecky. Sit, stay, I'm just, ah. sit, stay. Okay, girl. Oh my gosh, you're wiping the booty? What are you doing right now? Are you going to the bathroom? <laughs> sit, good, stay. So I'm gonna move away, change direction, disengage from her a little bit. Good girl, come back to her, good. Give her a snack -o. Okay. And then release her once I'm back to her. I don't like doing too many recalls from a stay position. Um, it just kind of creates the, the chain of events of every time I walk away and turn to face her, that I, if I call her to me, then she starts to anticipate that. And you'll see the dog, you'll see Freckle um, start to make that its own behavior, right? Like every time you put me in a stay, I just come to you before you're even asking for it. So more times than not, I'm going to return to her to release her. Hey, Frecky, go find it. Oh my gosh, you went right past it. You didn't even get it. You didn't get it. Okay. You might need your glands expressed because you got something going on with that booty duty. I'm going to check her butts. I'm going to start recording. Hey, what are you doing? 